Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another pep talk, P-E-P, -E Passionately Empowering People. Today's topic is, it's in you. It's in you. Growing up, I always wanted to be a great basketball player. I always wanted to be the best. And uh, the people that know me, that used to grow up, that grew up with me, used to play with me, they, they know what I'm talking about. Uh, and, and the truth of the matter is, on my high school basketball team, I was one of the best players, if not the best player. But the problem is, I didn't realize it. My high school coach stopped me one day, before he ever saw me play, stopped me in the hallway and said, I don't believe you're gonna be able to give me what I need on the court. And that created a, a growth, uh, a stunted my growth in basketball because I allowed it to. So instead of me living up to my potential as a basketball player, being one of the greatest, I lived down to his expectations because uh, I was always afraid of messing up. Didn't think I could uh, uh, live up to uh, uh, what he thought would be uh, ideal for me as a basketball player. I, didn't, I was too concerned about what he thought instead of uh, learning and growing as I went through the process and not being afraid to fail. Because anywhere else I played, aside from my high school, I could play at the rec center uh, for the rec league, and I was one of the greatest players out there. Always in double digits. I remember a game where uh, we were down uh, three points, and the coach called a timeout at, at, at the rec league. He called a timeout, designed to play. Uh, the point guard uh, was supposed to bring the ball down the court and pass it to another guy who was uh, – more of a veteran than I was uh, and was actually hot that game. He was balling and rightfully so. Should have designed the play to go to him but something inside me said look you need to hang around the three point line just in case they double team and cut off that pass to him and lo and behold they called the play uh, uh, blew the whistle called the play and they couldn't get the ball to him so the ball ended up coming to me. I shot the ball nothing but net so we're in overtime, okay? And it got down to the wire. Two minutes in overtime, and we down, uh, I believe it was down one point. The coach called the same exact play, just on the opposite side of the court. So I said, again, I'm just going to hang around this three-point line just in case he can't get the ball to him. Lo and behold, couldn't get the ball to him. Passed the ball to me. All I remember is getting ready to release the ball and looking up in the air and seeing this guy jump so high trying to swat my uh, shot back to the other end of the court, it's like he was hanging on the rafters and in the ceiling at the gym, just waiting on me to release the ball so he can uh, spike it like he's playing volleyball or something. But somehow he missed and I hit and we won the game. And the crowd went wild. The team went wild. They picked me up on their shoulders they, after they tackled me because uh, we beat a team that we were pretty much the underdog going into that game. So needless to say, I did that and so many other uh, different things in my basketball, in my time playing basketball, that I, I amazed myself a lot of times. And the reason I was able to do that is because I went into every game, aside from playing for my high school, for my high school coach, I went into every game with the mindset of I'm going to be unconscious. I would literally say this to myself. When I get the ball, when I get out here on the court, I'm going to be unconscious, meaning I'm going to be fearless. I'm not going to be afraid of, of what's going to happen or what I'm going to do. I'm going to get out here and and uh, amaze myself, prove to myself that I can do this. And every time I, I went out on the court and played with that kind of mindset, I did a lot of shots and, and created a lot of plays that amazed myself. So what am I saying? What is it that's in you? It's greatness is in you. It's in you to be great. You have to live up to your full potential and don't live down to someone else's expectations of you. It's in you to live out the five L's of a happy lifestyle. What are the five L's to a healthy life? Live, love, laugh, learn, and lend a hand. It's in you to live out what's inside of you. 
if you choose not to live out what's inside of you, the rest of your life will be spent dangling on the ends of strings that somebody else pulls. So it's in you to change that outcome. It's in you to rearrange the course of your life. It's in you to be bold, to be beautiful, to be free. You know what? It's in you to fire your boss. It's in you to have that whelp day. It's in you to, to change the course of your life forever. You know, Harriet Tubman freed thousands of slaves. She would have freed thousands more had they known they were slaves. Many of us go through life not realizing that we are slaves. Slaves to our own uh, self-defeating habits. Slaves to our own uh, poor mentality. Slaves to, the, uh, to following the masses. Doing what everybody else does. Instead of being trailblazers. Instead of going where there is no path and leaving a trail. Many of us are living down to everybody else's expectations. So it's in you to maximize your own personal economy. Instead of worrying about the general economy of the world, it's in you to maximize your own economy. Because most Americans have more month left over at the end of their money. It's in you to have more money left over at the end of the month. But you got to take ownership of it. You got to be unconscious about your creativity in uh, developing ways to make that a reality for you. You got to be unconscious in doing that. Do you ever wonder why people work for someone the most of their lives for decades and at the end of it all they're, they're still only two paychecks away from losing it all from being on, on the streets? You ever wonder why? It's because they've been uh, so uh, programmed and so unaware that they have given in to a system that doesn't work for them. And they are only doing it because everybody around them is doing it. They haven't woken up. They're not awake. They haven't turned the light on, turned on that, that spirit of, of passion and ambition in their life to reach for something that only a few people enjoy which is freedom they have not developed that 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 spirit that you know I want it and I'm going to get it they haven't turned that on yet but it's possible you can do that you can change everything around it's in you to create the kind of lifestyle that you've always dreamed the kind of life that you can uh, feel proud of you know the people that make it in this life they look around for the circumstances that they want and if they can't find them they create them it's in you to create that kind of life but what you're gonna have to do is to stop carrying bricks up somebody else's hill to build their mansion most most of the the people in this world that's why they're so tired and, and can't figure out a way at the end of the work day to get out of the rut that they're in because they feel like they're every, everything that they're doing is creating a lifestyle for somebody else. And at the end of the day, they have nothing to show for it. At the end of every Friday, they feel broke because they're carrying bricks up somebody else's hill to build their mansion. Now, if you could carry half a brick up the hill to your boss and carry the other half home you wouldn't feel so tired and you wouldn't feel so defeated because you would feel like you are building something for yourself that would last for you forever and you're tired because you have you feel like you have nothing to show for it. well I'm here to wake you up I'm here to empower you to believe that you can turn that around that you can build your own mansion but it starts with your mindset you got to say to yourself, your mama can't do this for you, your daddy, your pastor, your wife, your, your cousin, your auntie, uncle, whoever. They can't do it for you. You have to do it for yourself. You have to say, I can do this. It's in me 
to create the the course of my life that I want to travel in. And you have to take advantage of the lifetime of the opportunity in the lifetime of the opportunity. Take advantage of the opportunity of a lifetime in the lifetime of the opportunity. That same coach that I uh, played for in high school, uh, years after I graduated, I went back to that same high school, me and my best friend, and we played against my high school coach and the assistant coach, who were our coaches at that time. And we played them two on two, beat the pants off of them. And I went there for myself to prove a point and to my coach that I felt like he should have spent more time with me in developing my game. But I realized it really didn't make me feel any better. And it was up to me to take what my coach said to me way back then and use it as fuel to flame the trail of where I wanted to take my basketball career. So the reason it didn't solve anything for me once we beat them is because I didn't take advantage of the opportunity of a lifetime in the lifetime of the opportunity. And that's what you're going to have to do. It's in you to take advantage right now to change the course of your life, to change the course of your family's life forever. You know, if you don't start building your own dreams, somebody else is going to hire you to build theirs. You do you do you really stop and think why your boss pays you just enough to keep you from quitting and then in return you work just hard enough to keep from getting fired and think about it. You you put in for a vacation and it may or may not get approved. Why is that? Because your boss enjoys his or her quality of life. They want to be able to take their family on vacations when they want to. They want to be able to to pay all their bills early and still have money left over because they want to and they need you there at the workhouse on time or even late, even coming in on your day off so that they can continue to enjoy their quality of life. So if they can't have you there doing that, then they got to find somebody else to do it. And they're not going to teach you to do what they're doing because they need you to continue to enjoy their quality of life. But if you took that same work ethic that you have going to a job that you hate, and think about it, you're going to a job that you hate, you, don't, you can't stand your boss, but you're praying that you don't get fired. Mm. That's a vicious cycle that you're gonna, you need to break. And you need to start breaking it today. You can create the kind of life you, you've always dreamed about. You can take advantage of the opportunity of a lifetime. But you have to surround yourself with like-minded people who are on the same mission as you. To be bold, to be beautiful, and to be free. Because it's in you to have all you've ever wanted. So if, you have, if you've ever stopped to think about why your boss won't let you off, because they enjoy their lifestyle. And you can enjoy your lifestyle. But you got to start making a radical change and declare all that war on who you are and who you've been and decide who you're going to be. And you got to start today. The person you were yesterday got you where you are today. So who you are today will get you where you're going to be tomorrow. So if you want to be in a different place tomorrow, wake up and realize it's in you to make that happen. It's in you to create the life you've always dreamed. So take advantage of the lifetime. Take advantage of the opportunity of a lifetime. As I've said before, I want to continue to passionately empower people to change their lives, change your mindset, change what you're doing day in and out, change your routine, uh, and just believe that you can have all you've ever wanted because you deserve it. You deserve it. I'm working on a financial freedom project. I'm aligned with some very wealthy entrepreneurs and business owners who are serious about freeing the slaves mentally, spiritually, financially, because we want to educate everyone and let them know that it's in you to be debt free. 
It's in you to be bold. It's in you to be beautiful. If you want more information on the Financial Freedom Project, if you want to take your life in a total different direction, give me a call. 901-646-1393. Shoot me an inbox. Say more info. And listen, that's my time. I went over a little bit more than I planned on it, but I, I felt I needed to, to get that off my chest because we're all leaders. It's in us to be leaders. And that not only message not only was for me, but it's for someone else. And I don't know who it was, but if I don't get out the messages that are inside of me, like I didn't get out the greatness that was inside of me growing up as a basketball player, the world may never know. Somebody's life may not be touched and, and rearranged for the better if I don't do what I can do and empower other people to do what they can do. Listen, that's my time. Text me or call me 901-646-1393. And again, as always, live for today, but plan for tomorrow. God bless.